Okay. And when I got home, I cooked us some paksil na pata. Ayan, fall off the bone. <laughs> Napasobra lang ng tubig, but not bad for a first time. After putting all of the ingredients all together in this slow cooker, I set the timer for 6 hours and I chose the slow cook button and then chose the number of hours which is six hours and then after that i put all of the saging nasaba inside for another hour and we have our lunch and dinner for the entire three to five days this is freezer friendly rin guys when is the rain going to stop <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today we will be cooking some calderetang baka or what is it called in English? Beef caldereta. <laughs> so before further ado, please don't forget to click the like, share this video to your friends and loved ones, subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video and let's get cooking. For today's menu, we are cooking slow cooked beef caldereta wow. with carrots and peas. These are the beef beef chunks. Ayan, we are searing this on both sides until browned. We also have onions, tomatoes, and garlic chopped by my daughter. Kahit anong hiwa yan, okay na yan. Nasasa pa rin naman yan. Searing this by batches because we don't want to overcrowd the slow cooker. Ang galing lang ng slow cooker ko guys kasi multi-function siya. You can cook rice in it. You can also do a lot of things with this slow cooker. The last batch is now going in. Konting oil lang nilagay ko kasi healthy tayo ng dito. Healthy version. <laughs> Usually, dapat inuuna yung onions eh. Ewan ko, ba't inuna ko yung garlic? We will just let the tomatoes soften. be putting the potatoes and other carrots later kasi i-air fry ko yung potatoes Let's just stir this together with all of these ingredients and then I added one cup of water One half cup. One third cup tomato paste.
six hours later. The lesson for us is that our education and skills training must always be attuned to a high, exacting, and constantly evolving global standard. <laughs> Kahit ang, ang mga matatayang na pangarap ay mga hindi pa dito natatapos, magpanurigin pa natin ang ating programa sa pagkayang pabahan, lalo na para sa mga mahihir ang ating kapabayan. Itong nakalipas na taon, inilunsan natin ang pambansang pabahay para sa Pilipino Housing Pro Pro Program o 4PH. Inihiling ko ang inyong diwala ng pagtigisa. Pagkakaroon natin ang ginhawa, patatan, at panatag na buhay para sa lahat ng Pilipino. Next, I stand as a single-use plastics, VAT on digital services, rationalization of mining fiscal regime, motor vehicle users charge, road users tax, the military and uniform personnel pension, amendment of the fisheries code, amendment of the anti-agricultural smuggling act, amendment of the corporate code, New government procurement law, new government auditing code that the state of the nation is sound and is improving. Tumating na po ang bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat. konting patis, tagyan natin. Paborito ko na talaga tong slow cooker ko guys. Imagine I left the house at 11.30 tapos bumalik ako ng 5pm. Soft na siya kasi 6 hours. And then I placed all of the vegetables inside and turned the slow cooker on for another hour and voila! We have our dinner!
I'm watching a an interior designer vlog for us at our future home. Coming soon. Being in your room really needs its own empty. Because I don't think that it necessarily does. I also think there is room for different seats in different areas of the home to share an end table. And I think depending on the size of your room, that might make sense. So let's say you have a larger living room and you've got two different chairs there. Having a side table that sort of sits in between them, perfectly fine. If you have a sofa or a sectional, I think an end table or a side table can be fine for both. But it might not necessarily be needed if you have a coffee table in the middle and it's within reach for people to be able to use for the purpose of, you know, putting their drink on or whatever. Again, I love end tables. If you love yours, keep them. They're fantastic. But if you don't have one and your room still functions perfectly well and it feels really natural to put your drink and your food, whatever, on the coffee table or to share a table with the neighboring seat, you don't necessarily need one. You don't, you need to think twice about having so many end tables. You don't need five in a living room or three or whatever. It's not necessary. It's so tender. The basic function of what you're gonna need to right set up right and flavor the book, the glasses, mm. the water, the cell phone, whatever. That's what I love about Sulu. So don't beat yourself up over necessarily needing these giant nightstands that you know you can buy from Restoration Hardware or whatever. And just make do with something a little bit more pared down, a little bit more simple that serves your basic functional needs that you're gonna need in the bedroom. That's all that's necessary. Yung liver spread talaga nagpasarap. Without it, hindi siya masarap for sure. <laughs> Pwede din daw peanut butter kung walang liver spread or if you're kind of allergic to it because meron yung... Hindi naman allergic kasi parang sobrang tataas ng uric acid mo kung nalagyan mo pa ng pork liver which is the liver spread, right? You do you. Sa bagay, yung peanut butter ganun din. What's the difference? <laughs> Sima. Nothing happened. <laughs> Here's another recipe that I cooked in my crock pot. This is fusilli pasta with chicken. I cooked this for four hours. Yummy! That is it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this vlog, please don't forget to click the like. Share this video to your loved ones and friends. And subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you on my next vlog. You may also click on my other videos over here for more. Thank you so much. Stay safe. God bless you.